David Eby's NDP are leading in the polls, but he's paying close attention to those numbers because they're dropping. The B.C. Conservatives, despite having only two seats in the legislature, are polling second, just six points behind. David Eby's now going after the party. I think it's important for me uh, to make sure that people understand uh, the choice that's on the ballot in the period between now and the election. Uh, there's no question, and I've been clear from the beginning, the Conservatives are a real threat. They are going to cost British Columbians in very tangible ways. EB can no longer ignore or dismiss the B.C. Conservatives under leader John Rustad, especially if what voters are telling pollsters holds true for the upcoming election in October. The latest survey data shows if the election was held today, 40 percent of voters would vote NDP, but 34 percent would vote Conservative. With just 13 percent voting B.C. United, they are the official opposition with 26 seats in the legislature. Since November, the party has lost four polls. Points, while the Conservatives have gained eight and the Greens won. BC Conservative leader John Rustad says he's not surprised by his party's numbers. The real big thing about this is it is grassroots. It is the grassroots movement. It's people coming forward and saying we want change, we want common sense, we want a government that is going to deliver for people and fight for the average everyday person. And that's what I'm hearing time and time again. Caught out in all of this is BC United leader Kevin Falcon. He's having to defend his party's role in the legislature. The grind of opposing the government is not helping his polling numbers. Now he's having to entertain talks with the BC Conservatives over possible vote splitting. Yes, we've uh, you know engaged in some discussions. We've got. Uh emissaries from both parties that are having discussions to see if we can find common ground recognizing that the real enemy is the NDP government. So what else is at play here? If you ask Kevin Falcon, names. He says the B.C. Conservatives are buoyed by having the same name as the federal opposition. So he's facing a five-month sprint to get united in better parlance. In the meantime, David Eby hopes any confusion will help deliver him a second term. Chad Pawson, CBC News, Victoria.